Hey, what's up everybody? Mike Gross here, Rockin' Guitar Lessons. How you doing? Um, every week I try to do this. I don't usually get to it every week. But mentioning my paid services that I offer. Um, this one is the most popular of the bunch. Close with the, the Skype students, but they're CBT and CT guitar lessons. Basically they're handwritten um, tabs. You pick the band, the song, the specifics. Um, you may know the course, you may just need the whole rest of the song, or maybe you need the whole song, or maybe you just need the solo. That's where custom comes in. Uh, the video is, you get the video element of the lesson, and uh, the T stands for tablature, which is the type of music that it's written on. I got a, well, these here that I got to uh, email, but uh, that's the cover sheet. Everything's handwritten. I do uh, the kind of a guesstimation per se on on the EQ of the song the primary effects they're super detailed um, everything's time stamped so you can match it up to the video put the uploaders names so we make sure we're on the same video found that out the hard way because you know some some videos especially the official videos a lot of times are concept videos or a storyline video and they may have you know 30 seconds before the song starts. So we need to make sure we're on the same video. So that's why I do the uploader's name. Obviously the tuning and, and all that stuff gets explained. Um, the song is put in sections. So I'll use like a S1 for section one. Now really in music, that would maybe be the, ver the, the intro. Section two, uh, maybe the verse. I just give them section names. And then when it goes back and repeats them, which just about every song does, then I just refer to that section one eight times or whatever. Timestamps, like I said, come in real handy for if, if particularly uh, it's helpful from what I hear for uh, faster parts, which makes sense, or in a, a guitar solo where there's something fast that you may not be quite hearing, so you can match these timestamps up. I try to keep them pretty fairly close. You know, you may have a, a minute 50 timestamp, and the next one might be a minute 57. You know, it just kind of depends. I try to put them in riff timestamps if that makes sense um, but even throughout the rhythms you know in the beginning of each section you're gonna know right where you're at timestamp wise fingerings pick directions all the techniques are thoroughly explained and they're really cool so a CT lesson is the same thing a CT would be just the tabs you know handwritten um, scanned and sent to your email that's custom tablature CBT is the more popular of the bunch. Most people want to see the lesson, hear it, and watch how I'm doing everything in it. And that's a CBT lesson. So uh, payments are made to my PayPal account. Uh, TBXpunk at AOL.com is my PayPal email. But the email, if you're interested in this service, to reach me directly is rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Now I get uh, often actually uh, forwarded from my website um, so sometimes there's several days delay on it. It just depends when they send them to me. So to reach me directly, I want to just make sure that that's put out there. Rocking guitar lessons at hotmail.com. That's my direct email. Be as specific as you can as far as the band, the song, and the parts. If it's just the whole song, that's easy. You know, to say I look from the very beginning riff to the very end, uh, including the guitar solo. Another thing, um, questions that. Uh, CBT students have had and work that they've had me do is songs that don't have guitar in them that they like and um, I totally will do that if it's got a pitch or a tone then we can construct it into a song I do custom packages as far as you know so you wanted a blues package you know series uh, CBT le guitar lesson we could do that uh, country rock metal have a few of those already Usually people want songs, you know, in specific. So uh, they're really cool. Like I said, they're, it's, I'd say for sure the, the more popular of my paid services. Um, and then next would be the, the guitar lessons on Skype, bass and vocal lessons and such. So, which I'm gonna do a tutorial on that next. So you have my email, the information, hit me up. Be sure to subscribe guys to the channel right here. Just jump in and subscribe, share these videos. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, my girls keep rocking.